Hi everyone, my name is Terence and today I will introduce you to Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a software that allows you to design and create objects in a 3D space. One of the biggest advantages of this software is that it's free. Tinkercad is easy to use and it's a web-based software so you don't need to download anything. While simple to use, objects that are more intricate in shape might be a challenge to create in Tinkercad. Overall, Tinkercad is a good tool for beginners to get started with 3D modeling. So let's get started. Go to Tinkercad.com and if you don't already have an account, you will find the Join Now button on the top right hand corner of your screen. All you need to create an account is an email address. Once you've created an account, you will be prompted to a short tutorial which you can go through but I will skip it for now. Near the top left corner of your screen, you will find the Create a New Design button, which will allow you to start a new design. Let's create a new design and show you what the interface looks like. So this is Tinkercad's design interface. I will just give you an overview of the features now and go into more detail in future videos. On the right hand side, you will see different shapes and objects that you can use to create your design. Near the top right of your screen, you will find buttons that will allow you to combine objects together. This column right here on the left side are buttons that will help you manipulate your camera that will allow you to look at your objects in multiple angles. Every time you create a new design, Tinkercad will generate a random name for your project on the top left hand corner. This is easily changed by left clicking on the name and typing the title of your project. When you finish, you can close your browser and Tinkercad will automatically save your work. You can also click on the Tinkercad icon located at the top left corner of your screen to go back to the main page. On this page, you will also be able to see old projects and design that you have created. Clicking into old design will allow you to quickly edit them or export them for printing. If you have any questions, then please feel free to comment down below. That's all from me today and I'll see you in the next video.